what's up guys so here's the deal I've been I, I've used the Encore a couple times now it's a belt drive 36 inch walk pine if you didn't know and uh, it's it's very heavy it's uh, it's rough man it's that belt drive system is just ridiculous especially being used to the hydro uh, stand on mowers where you make it go instead of you make it stop and I think it's very dangerous and I, I, I'm, I'm selling it I'm getting rid of it I've used it maybe three times and I'm getting rid of it I absolutely think it's so dangerous I'm not gonna waste I'm not gonna spend thousands of dollars fixing somebody's fence after that thing tears into it because it is so dangerous. I just got, I just purchased a uh, a Time Master from uh, a Toro Time Master from Home Depot. Uh, it looks like a cool mower. I've been watching like Seth the Lawn Surgeon. I've been watching all uh, some of these guys that have them and they say they like them. I like it because it's light. It's, it's like a push mower, but it's six inches smaller than the uh, my, my walk behind. But that's, that's not that big of a deal. It's just better than tearing into a fence and that thing, man, it just seems dangerous because if you let it go, it just, it'll just go. Which I think is just, just stupid honestly it's just totally stupid uh, for a business I think it's absolutely dangerous I I can barely do it myself and I mow every day of my life if I would hire help one day I, it's almost guaranteed that they're not gonna be able to do it if I can barely do it and, and I'm not gonna put that it's just heavy you can't barely turn it it's stressful honestly and it, and the fixed deck on it scalps it's it was maddening I mean so I I knew the minute I started using it on this yard I couldn't do it I mean these people got I don't even know how much their fences are they've got that nice black wrought iron fence like that nice I'm not gonna have that thing plow into it and I have to replace it because that's probably not very cheap at all so uh, that's my, that's my thing, guys. I'm gonna go home and do an, uh, do some an unboxing and see whatever comes in the box uh, of this Time Master. I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, I think it's definitely a lot safer, and I don't have to be push mowing it with a little 21 inch. It was about eleven hundred dollars with taxes. Um, yeah, that, that's it. That, it's 818 guys <laughs> oh it's so stressful when you spend that amount of money and and most people aren't even up yet but uh yeah that's my life right now I'm trying to uh man just freaking survive i'm i have so much stuff to do uh i just want to get this want to get it put together i've got class today and then I'm cutting all day, all weekend, all next week, and all frickin' summer, baby. Alright, guys. I'm not one for big box store mowers, but uh, I, I think this looks like a cool, good mower. And I, I explained the situation in the truck, you know. This walk behind is, that walk behind is just extremely heavy, dangerous. This thing's heavy too, but geez. Ah. <laughs> just gotta break it in. <laughs> thing literally. There she is, coming out of her cage. Let's see here. Ah, we don't need that. Here she is, baby. This thing is huge. 
absolutely huge. Ah, you're just breaking it in. <laughs> All right, let's see here. I thought I was gonna be able to lift it into the truck, but heck no, this thing is super heavy. Um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, uh, posted on there asking about this, and a lot of people told me to buy the $1,900 commercial grade one. And to be honest, I think $1,000 is ridiculous for this, but uh, I definitely wasn't going to buy a commercial push mower like. I mean, that Honda, that Honda you guys see there has my brother, when he started mowing grass, B&B hint, um, had that push mower. We've pulled that thing behind a golf cart throughout a neighborhood and never replaced a tire. So those things are like road slicks, but uh, that thing's been running forever. So I didn't even buy a warranty on this. Um, didn't buy the commercial. It's a push mower. I use it on backyards only, on fenced in ones. So it's really not that big of a deal. I'm tightening this guys down, you didn't know. So it's not that big of a deal. I don't think, you know. Well, and two, there's nowhere around here that sells the, com the commercial Toro one. They sell an X mark for about $2,200. And I mean, guys, like I said, it, it's, I don't use it enough to get $2,200 out of it. So, I'd, heck, I'd just use that little Honda. That thing starts first pull every single freaking time. It's amazing. I, if you guys are looking for a 21-inch, get it Honda. Those things, I, to be honest with you, I haven't even changed the oil in that little Honda thing. just keeps on. What is stuck here? Oh, you gotta push that thing. What the heck? One more. So, Seth, the lawn surgeon, if you're watching this, I was watching your videos at like midnight last night, trying to determine if I was gonna go buy this sucker. And look what I have. So Toro better give you some money for that. Because you just helped sell this old mower. What the heck? Alright, well, I'm going to figure that out. Turn on this camera real quick. Alright, guys. There she is. Toro Time Master. It's a 30 inch deck. Uh, it's replacing my walk behind. Uh, I like it. It's going to be lighter. It's better. I just, it, it's safer. I mean, when you're going down steep hills in the back fences, that thing, man, that thing, that walk behind will just take you. It's, it's, it's just crazy. Um, that's pretty much it. I got so many things to review. I'm going to try to do them all. I got the bagger. I've got the edge it. I've got this. Man, I don't know, guys. When it, when it calms down here, I'll get it all done. Get some awesome videos out for you. That's kind of the first look at the Toro Time Master. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later.